drink for this is my blood and do this in remembrance of me now we'll have Pastor Scott and Dr. Harris come start recalling your baptism we ask you to affirm again your faith in one God Father Son and Holy Spirit and your commitment to following Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord recognizing your call we ask you to affirm your trust in God's promises that in celebration Excuse me. That through the ministry of preaching, God's word will accomplish its task among us. That in celebration of the Lord's Supper and baptism, God will present to nourish us for eternal life. That through the ministry of the pastoral care, God will build us up to the full stature of Christ. And that through the work and mission, God will establish God's kingdom and in our local neighborhoods and beyond. Will you now take your ordained place among the people of God as an agent and sign of the good news of Jesus Christ, serving them and not lording over them, leading them in humility, compassion, and patience? It's a new process. You're all supposed to answer by saying, I do. I do. Will you faithfully proclaim the living word of God, the faith receiving from the apostles and hand down to us in the Holy Scriptures? Will you faithfully lead God's people in celebrating the presence of their living Lord as they gather around word and water, wine and bread. Will you faithfully care for God's people, welcoming the strangers and binding up the brokenhearted, loving them and as does the good shepherd to whom they belong? Will you faithfully disciple God's people to carry out the mandate to advance the kingdom of God in your local neighborhood and beyond? Will you honor the integrity of the body of Christ, taking your place in all humanity, hum humility, alongside your co-worker from every church that proclaimed the Lordship of Jesus Christ. To Elder Furlow, I want to say to you, and I've already said this to you so many times before, that I cannot wait to see what God is going to do in your life. And the reason why I'm saying this to you is because God has to remind us that you are not out of time, that you are right on schedule, that it is not just the end. I was honored to ordain you even more our pastor. And I pray that as you take this call, that as God affirms you. Before, before man even affirms you with that, as God affirms you, that you will know that you have been called for such a time as this. 
that you will know that you can let go of all of those individuals that said that you couldn't do this. That God had another play in mind. That God had another plan in mind. And today, we affirm you as pastor. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. privilege of affirming you as an elder when you were Elder Scott. Then I had an opportunity to walk with you. Not just through being a widow, but walk with you through being who God has called you to be. To what was prayed for that this is what you would be. And today, as I affirm Pastor Jackson, I pray that this confirmation is not just a natural confirmation, but it is a spiritual confirmation for you to know that God has not forgotten. And he's going to do everything that he says that he's going to do. And today it is my honor to affirm you, Pastor Jackson. And so today I affirm you as pastor in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Elder Long. God has brought us to this moment soon to create even greater moments I was humbled to ordain you as elder I've also been humbled to see God take you from one level to the next I've also saw God give you a drive back that you lost and today I'm excited and not only am I excited but your mother is rejoicing in heaven because prayers go on and don't go unanswered even when the person is gone. And so today, I know that she's proud of you. And so today, I affirm you as Pastor Law. I affirm you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Elder Rice. I've not only had the opportunity to ordain you as an elder, but I've had an opportunity to experience you as a friend. I call a few people friend. I call a few people brother. But I can't call you pastor until I call you brother first. I'm grateful and not only the leader that you're becoming, but the man that you're becoming. Yeah. 
the father that you're becoming, the husband that you're becoming. And my prayer to you is that you've already mastered being a great friend. You've already mastered being a great husband. Today, I pray God gives you the power to master being a great pastor. So today, I affirm you as pastor in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. of you. I've known you since you were the age that my twins are. I was your Bible study teacher. And to see things come full circle, I watched you then as a youth greeter. And God was able to show me your heart before I was a pastor. And before you were even called into ministry. And out of all the things that I saw, I saw that you were a leader. And I thank God for your journey. I thank God for our journey. You came to our ministry vicariously through someone else. And as things happen, people shift and people go their way. God planted you. He didn't just plant you in the church. He planted you in my life. And I'm thankful to God. And I said this on your birthday. I would like to believe I'm special. (laughs) I would like to believe that the things you do and your heart towards me is just because I'm so great. But it's just who you are. You're a stand-up guy when you're on your platform. You're a stand-up guy in the back. If they catch you in the bathroom, you still will be a stand-up guy. And it is with absolutely no reservations. It is absolutely with no hesitation. It is absolutely with pastor pride that I affirm you today. You are a great man. You love your grandmama, listen. Your family, your wife, all of those things are the things that are going to cause you to continue to be a great pastor and continue to be a great gift. Don't do it. (laughs) And I thank God for you for praying for me when you could have went another way. I thank God for you standing with me when you could have pushed in another direction. And today is with joy in my heart that I affirm you today, Elder Eric Bartlett, Derek Bartlett, excuse me, as Pastor Derek Bartlett. In the name of the Father, and in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost, we give God glory. Amen. This is an extra special one. Because this is the lady who gave me life. You tell this story often. And anybody who knows you knows how I got here. That you were in a very difficult moment in your life. And you chose to give birth to me. You 
chose to have me. And even though y'all didn't get Jesus like y'all thought y'all was going to get him, I'm glad I'm a girl. <laughs> even though you didn't get the boy you wanted, I truly believe God gave me to you because he knew that I would need you. And he knew that you would need a reason to keep going and to keep pushing and to keep persevering and to work those two jobs and to work all those shifts so that my sister and I can have what we need. And then God transitioned us and yoked us together. Like you say, it, this is a spiritual marriage. <laughs> We've tried to break it up when God said, no, 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 no. And I believe that right before a major shift, and I just said this Tuesday, there is a major battle. And I've seen our relationship personally and ministry overcome many of things. We've come so far, and we have so far to go. But I would not want to walk in ministry. I wouldn't want to have a voice of reason. I wouldn't want anyone else to remind me of the order of the house than yourself. You are rock solid. You are rock solid. And you help me to take care of the people that God has given me. And I know you don't like stuff like this. And I'm trying to be short, but this one's special. So I know you don't like to be in the front. I know you would prefer to be in the back. But God called you to the front for such a time as this. So today, as your daughter, today, as your pastor, without any reservation and without any hesitation, I affirm you today. Elder Shirley McPherson as Pastor Shirley McPherson. In the name of the Father, and in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. As they're bringing the certificates, I was on my last sabbatical praying and asking God, what should I do next? Who should I elevate? Who could I trust? I was in the middle of the woods and he calls out all four of these names. He says, you can trust them. You can look to them. Because no great leader is great by himself. And so before I hand you the final piece of this ordination, I had so much anxiety this morning. Because I'm now learning as a leader that I don't have to do everything. And beyond all of that, I got people that I can trust. Trust that got me, even when they may not understand what I'm doing. And so today I'm excited and grateful. So this certificate of ordination reads, is duly set forth and ordained an executive pastor of the Living Faith Tabernacle and hereby authorized to publish, preach, and minister Christian ordinances and to solemnize holy matrimony and defend the gospel of Jesus Christ to do all the work that may devolve as an ordained elder in accordance with the word of God and the bylaws of Living Faith Tabernacle. We now officially ordain you as executive pastor.
the certificate of ordination. It said, it is duly set forth, ordained an executive pastor of Living Faith Tabernacle and is hereby authorized to publish, preach, administer Christian ordinances and to solemnize holy matrimony and to defend the gospel of Jesus Christ, to do all the work that may be to devolve as an ordained elder in according with the word of God by the bylaws of Living Faith Tabernacle, we ordain you as executive pastor. It is duly set forth, ordained an executive pastor of Living Faith Tabernacle and is hereby authorized to publish, preach, administer Christian ordinances, and to solemnize holy matrimony, and to defend the gospel of Jesus Christ, to do all the work that may be devolved as an ordained elder in accordance with the word of God and by the bylaws of Living Faith Tabernacle. And today, we certify you as executive pastor. <laughs> It is duly set forth, ordained as an executive pastor of Living Faith Tabernacle, and is hereby authorized to publish, preach, and minister Christian ordinances, and to solemnize holy matrimony, and to defend the gospel of Jesus Christ, to do all the work that may be devolved as ordained, as an ordained elder in accordance with the word of God and the bylaws of Living Faith Tabernacle. And on today, we ordain you as executive pastor. It is duly set forth, ordained an executive pastor of Living Faith Tabernacle and is hereby authorized to publish, to preach, to administer Christian ordinances and to solemnize holy matrimony and to defend the gospel of Jesus Christ, to do all of the work that may be devolved as ordained elder in accordance with the word of God and the bylaws of Living Faith Tabernacle. We ordain you as executive pastor. It is duly set forth, ordained an executive pastor of Living Faith Tabernacle and is hereby authorized to publish, to preach, and minister the Christian ordinances and to solemnize holy matrimony and to defend the gospel of Jesus Christ to do all the work that may be devolved as ordained elder in accordance with the word of God and the bylaws of the living faith tabernacle we ordain you as executive pastor if you would stand to your feet I present to you the executive pastors of Living Faith Tabernacle. Can we celebrate God one more time? Now, while they're here, we're going to put them to work already. Amen. Those goblets are yours, so you keep those for yourself. Amen. So I don't know if you got pockets. Okay. If you get somebody from your family to hold those for you. Now that they are executive pastors, they are about to serve the ministers that are about to be ordained. Can we celebrate God for all of our ministerial candidates? 
Come on, y'all can do better than that. All of these ministers of the gospel. Wow. Amen. If y'all come down, slide, slide, slide. If someone would go ahead and start pouring. While they're pouring, I've had the opportunity to walk with most of you in this journey. And I want to say something to you that this is not the end for most of you. This is literally the beginning of God taking you to a place that you can't even imagine. To every minister that is standing here, I started out as a minister and stayed a minister for almost 13 years before I ever became a pastor. But I served until my name was called. I didn't call my own name. But I served until my name was called. I served until it was my time. And I also want to teach us that we feel as though that minister is the smallest of titles. But really minister is the greatest of titles. Because when you think about minister, your job is to serve in a capacity that is unmeasured and unprecedented. Even though I was a preacher, I was a preaching minister. Even though I was a singing, I was a singing minister. And I stepped and walked in that until God elevated me to my next. And I'll say this to each one of you, or you are holding these sacraments. That as God takes you to the next level and to the next place, don't let anybody, anybody talk you out of serving. This is the first step get you to the next step as we take the sacraments Jesus took the bread and he broke it because just as I said earlier God doesn't use anything that he hasn't broken first the Bible says that he took the bread and he said this is my body eat in remembrance of me. Then he took the cup and he said, this is my blood in remembrance of me. Recalling your baptism, we ask you to affirm again your faith in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and your commitment to following Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord. I do. Recognizing your call, we ask you to affirm your trust in God's promises. That through the ministry of preaching, God's word will accomplish its task among us. That in celebration of the Lord's Supper and baptism, God will present to nourish us for eternal life. That through the ministry of pastoral care, God will build us up in the full stature of Christ. And that through the work of of the mission, God will establish God's kingdom in our local neighborhoods and beyond. Will you now take your ordained place among the people of God as an agent 
and sign of the good news of Jesus Christ, serving them and not lording over them, leading them in humility, compassion, and patience. Will you faithfully proclaim the living word of God, the faith received from the apostles and the hand down to us in the Holy Scriptures? Will you faithfully lead God's people in celebrating the presence of their living God as they gather around word and water, wine and bread? Will you faithfully care for God's people, welcoming the stranger and binding up the brokenhearted, loving them as does the good shepherd to whom they belong? Will you faithfully disciple God's people to carry out the mandate to advance the kingdom of God in your local neighborhood and beyond? Will you honor the integrity of the body of Christ, taking your place in all humility alongside your co-workers from every church that proclaim the Lordship of Jesus Christ? Silas White, it is duly set forth licensed and ordained the minister of the gospel in the living faith tabernacle and hereby authorizes you and publishes you to preach to defend the gospel of Jesus Christ to do all the work that may devolve as a licensed minister in accordance with the word of God and that by the laws of living faith Carol Thomas it is duly set forth, licensed and ordained, a minister of the gospel in living faith to Abernacle, and is hereby authorized to publish, preach, defend the gospel of Jesus Christ, to do all the work that may be devolved as a licensed minister in accordance with the word of God and the bylaws of living faith to Abernacle. Vincent Stewart, it is duly set forth, licensed and ordained a minister of the gospel in the living faith tabernacle and is hereby authorized to publish, preach, and defend the gospel of Jesus Christ to do all the work that may devolve as a licensed minister in accordance with the work of God and the bylaws of living faith. Shawana Smith. is duly set forth licensed and ordained a minister of the gospel in the faith in living faith tabernacle and is hereby authorized to publish preach defend the gospel of jesus christ and to do all the work that may be devolved as a licensed minister in accordance with the word of god and the bylaws of living faith tabernacle josephine smith is duly set forth, licensed and ordained a minister of the gospel in Living Faith Tabernacle and is hereby authorized to publish, preach, defend the gospel of Jesus Christ to do all the work that may be devoted as a licensed minister in accordance with the word of God and the bylaws of Living Faith Tabernacle. Elena Rice. is duly set forth, licensed and ordained a minister of the gospel in the Living Faith Tabernacle and is hereby authorized to publish, to preach, to defend the gospel of Jesus Christ, to do all the work that may be devoted as a licensed minister in accordance with the word of God and the bylaws of Living Faith Tabernacle. Alana Major <laughs> is duly set forth, licensed and ordained, a minister of the gospel in Living Faith Tabernacle and is hereby authorized to publish, preach, defend the gospel of Jesus Christ to do all the work that may be devoted as a licensed minister in accordance with the word of God and the bylaws of Living Faith Tabernacle.
William Law. It is duly set forth, licensed, and ordained a minister of the gospel in Living Faith Tabernacle and is hereby authorized to publish, preach, defend the gospel of Jesus Christ, to do all the work that may be devolved as a licensed minister in accordance with the word of God and by the laws of Living Faith Tabernacle. Sharice Lane. Is duly set forth, licensed, and ordained as a minister of the gospel in Living Faith Tabernacle, and is hereby authorized, published to preach, defend the gospel of Jesus Christ, to all the work that may be devolved as a licensed minister in accordance with the word of God and the bylaws of Living Faith. Jazzy Jones <laughs> is duly set forth and licensed and ordained as a minister of the gospel in the Living Faith Tabernacle and is hereby authorized to publish, to preach, to defend the gospel of Jesus Christ, to do all the work that may be devolved as a licensed minister in accordance with the word of God and in the bylaws of Living Faith. Patty Cummings. It is duly set forth, licensed, and ordained a minister of the gospel of Living Faith Tabernacle, and hereby authorized to publish, pre defend the gospel of Jesus Christ, to do all the work that may be devolved as a licensed minister in accordance with the word of God and the bylaws of Living Faith Tabernacle. Sheena Brown. It is duly set forth, licensed and ordained a minister of the gospel in Living Faith Tabernacle and is hereby authorized to publish, to preach, to defend the gospel of Jesus Christ, to do all the work that may be devolved as a licensed minister in accordance with the word of God and the bylaws of Living Faith. Vanessa Bailey. It is duly set forth and ordained a minister of the gospel in Living Faith Tabernacle and is hereby authorized to publish, preach, defend the gospel of Jesus Christ, to do all that may be devolved as a licensed minister in accordance to the word of God and the bylaws of Living Faith. Emmanuel Asubadu. is duly set forth, licensed and ordained a minister of the gospel in Jesus Christ. It is set forth and hereby authorized to publish, to preach, to defend the gospel of Jesus Christ, to do all the work that may be devolved as a licensed minister in accordance with the word of God and the bylaws of living faith. Chris Alexander. It is duly set forth a license and ordained a minister of the gospel in the Living Faith Tabernacle and hereby authorized to publish, to preach, to defend the gospel of Jesus Christ, to do all the work that may be devolved as a licensed minister in accordance with the word of God and the bylaws of Living Faith Tabernacle. Can we celebrate God for all of these ministers? Let me say this for some of the ministers that are standing here. Uh, it was really hard um, making some of you ministers. And the reason why I say this is because some of you 
are literally so fine tuned until it's like, oh my God, we should throw this elder thing on them. But I've also learned that no matter where God takes us and no matter where God puts us, this is just a man-made title. That spiritually you may be elevated somewhere else, but we all have to start somewhere. And so I'm excited about each one of you all's elevation and grateful at what God is going to do for you and thankful that you have made the choice to be a part of this great church. And today we celebrate you in grand fashion. Can we bless God for all of these? And so today we affirm each one of you as ministers. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And in Jesus' name, okay. Amen. Amen. One more time, can we celebrate God? y'all for sticking around with us we making good time to our final ordination our elders can bless God As they're pouring into your cups, I want to say to you, all of you who are standing here who have been called to be elders, that we are grateful and excited about what God is going to do in your life. But to remember that this call is not to be taken lightly. That you are expected to defend the church when others are talking about the church. I'm going to say it again, that you are expected to defend the church. You are now a defender of the church. You are now a firefighter for the church, which means your sole job will be putting out fires. Your sole job will be to ensure that the riffraff stays down and that it doesn't even make it to the door. Your job is to correct. Your job is to reprove. Your job is to teach. Because that's what God has called you to do. And so when Jesus met with his disciples, the Bible says that he broke the bread. Because nothing is ever used unless it's broken. He says, this is my body. Take, eat in remembrance of me. Then he took the cup and he said, this is my blood, drink in remembrance of me. These are your ordination vows, recalling your baptism we ask you to affirm again your faith in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and your commitment to following Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord. Recognizing your call, we ask you to affirm your trust in God's promises. That through the ministry of preaching, God's Word will accomplish its task among us. That through the ministry of pastoral care, God will build us up to the full stature of Christ. And that through the work, mission of God will be establish God's kingdom in your local neighborhoods and beyond. Will you take your ordained place among the people of God as an agent and sign of the good news of Jesus Christ serving them and not lording over them 
leading them in humility, compassion, and patience. Will you faithfully proclaim the living word of God, the faith received from the apostles, and hand it down to us in the Holy Scriptures? Will you faithfully lead God's people in celebrating the presence of the living God as they gather around word and water, wine and bread? Will you faithfully care for God's people, welcoming the strangers and binding up the brokenhearted, loving them as does the good shepherd to whom they belong? Will you faithfully disciple God's people to carry out the mandate to advance the kingdom of God in your local neighborhood and beyond? Will you honor the integrity of the body of Christ, taking your place in all humility alongside your co-workers from every church at that proclaim the Lordship of Jesus Christ? Joy Williams. It is duly set forth, licensed, and ordained an elder of Living Faith Tabernacle, and is hereby authorized to publish, preach, administer Christian ordinances, and to solemnize holy matrimony, and to defend the gospel of Jesus Christ, to do all the work that may be devoted as an ordained elder in accordance with the word of God by the laws of living faith. Today, we ordain you as an elder in the Lord's church. And I speak that this is not just a natural elevation, but I speak that there'll be elevation in your life. That this is a day of change, not just a day of elevation of being called an elder but that elevation will be transformational in your life. And today, ordain you as elder in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Certificate of Ordination Elder, Shanyada Thornton. It is duly set forth, licensed and ordained, an elder of Living Faith Tabernacle, and is hereby authorized to publish, preach, administer Christian ordinances, and to solemnize, solemnize holy matrimony, and defend the gospel of Jesus Christ, to do all work that may be devolved as an ordained elder in accordance with the word of God and the bylaws of Living Faith Tabernacle. Today we ordain you as an elder in the Lord's church. And we ordain you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And we declare that you will walk in this call, that you will live in this call, that this is not just an earthly elevation, but this is a spiritual elevation. We honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. Certificate of Ordination Elder Frankie Ross, Jr., It is duly set forth, licensed, and ordained an elder of Living Faith Tabernacle, and is hereby authorized to publish, to preach, to administer Christian ordinances, and to solemnize holy matrimony, and to defend the gospel of Jesus Christ, to do all the work that may be devolved as an ordained elder, in accordance with the word of God and in the bylaws of Living Faith Tabernacle. Father, in Jesus' name, 
as we ordain Frankie Ross as an elder in the Lord's church, Lord, I ask that you touch him, that you give him the strength that he needs to be the soldier that you've called him to be. I pray, God, that this process will be different, that this experience will be different. And today we ordain you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Certificate of Ordination, Elder Joshua Moore. Is duly set forth, licensed and ordained an elder of Living Faith Tabernacle, and is hereby authorized to publish, preach, and minister Christian ordinances, and to solemnize holy matrimony, and to defend the gospel of Jesus Christ, to do all the work that may be devolved as an ordained elder in accordance with the word of God and the bylaws of Living Faith Tabernacle. Joshua as Lord's church and Lord today I ask that you strengthen him that you cover him and God that you give him the power and the strength that he needs to be the elder that you have called him to be and we ordain you as elder in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Ghost Certificate of Ordination, Elder Barry Grooms, Sr. It is duly set forth, licensed and ordained an elder of Living Faith Tabernacle, and is hereby authorized to publish, to preach, to administer Christian ordinances, and to solemnize holy matrimony, and to defend the gospel of Jesus Christ to do all the work that may be devolved as an ordained elder in accordance with the word of God and the bylaws of living faith. Today as we lay hands on Elder Barry Grooms, we pray God that you give him the power. We pray God that you give him the strength we pray, God, that you give him the understanding to be the elder that you've called him to be. And God, we call forth, Lord, the eldership in him. And God, we call him elder in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Certificate of Ordination Elder Dewan Davis. It is duly set forth, licensed and ordained an elder of Living Faith Tabernacle and is hereby authorized to publish, preach, and minister Christian ordinances and to solemnize holy matrimony and to defend the gospel of Jesus Christ. And to do all the work that may be devolved as an ordained elder in accordance with the word of God and the bylaws of living faith. Today, as we lay hands on Dewan Davis, we declare that you will give him the power, that you will give him the wisdom, that you will give him the knowledge to be the elder that he's been called to be. And God, today we declare that he is a elder in the Lord's church in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Can we celebrate the Lord in this house? celebrate God one more time wow 
God is so good, and he is so awesome. Can we bless God for these elders, these ministers, these executive pastors? Wow. Wow. And guess what? It's just 1222. <laughs> Usually I would still be preaching right about now. All right? Amen. So God is so faithful. Can we stand all over the room? Thank you, Jesus. Can we stand all over the room? And please, all of the elders, all of the ministers, once this service concludes, if you'll come directly to the stage. Is that right? Elders and ministers, executive pastors, if you'll come directly to the stage uh, when we conclude this service. And also the current ministers, if you will also make your way to the stage. Can we celebrate God for our current active Got y'all over here hot for no reason. You look good. You look good. You look good. Did not we enjoy service today? Amen. Tell your neighbor if they were late, you still got time to sow in the offering. Amen. Amen. Now, your, your neighbor had to give $100, and you do too. All right? Uh, but if you were late, please don't forget to sow uh, because truly... Uh, it is because of you that we do what we do, how we do. And we couldn't do anything uh, if you were not supporting us and helping us. And so we thank you for that. Can we celebrate Living Faith Columbus? We celebrate you. We honor you. And to Dr. Harris, can we bless God for him? He stepped in to teach our MIT class, and we thank God for that. Um, originally, uh, Dr. Driver was going to be uh, the facilitator for that class and ended up being diagnosed with stage four breast cancer. She's doing well. We are praying to her through this, and we believe in God for healing uh, because, you know, just because you get a diagnosis, that don't mean it's a death sentence. And so, brother, I want to thank you for stepping in uh, her stead uh, to make sure that we could feed these leaders and give them what they need uh, to go on the journey that they've been called to go on. And I'm so grateful and honored. Y'all look amazing today. Now, y'all ain't going to see me in this. Y'all don't, don't got me three Sundays in a row. I done dressed up on Easter, dressed up last Sunday in this thing right here. Amen. Uh, but nevertheless, I want to say to all of you that have been ordained and licensed, please don't take this lightly. We're also giving you pocket license, so you don't have to carry around that stuff. Amen? You can put it in your wallet. Uh, but listen, that license has an expiration date on it because we got too many renegades out here. All right? And they'll give you information about that, why I got an expiration date and all that, because you know. Anyway, uh, but God is good. We're standing all over the house. Lord, we thank you for your goodness and your mercy. We thank you, God, that you are awesome, that you are mighty. We thank you, Lord, that we are dressed to kill. And God, we are ready to do what has never been done before. God, touch every minister, touch every elder, touch every executive pastor, touch every pastor that is in this room. God, give us the power to do and go and be what you called us to be. We honor you and we praise you in Jesus' name. And all of God's people said amen. God bless you. You are dismissed. All right, I need every leader of Living Faith Tabernacle, current or newly appointed, I need you on the stage right now. We'll position you once you get there. Executive pastors, y'all can wait right there. Just stay where you are. Ministers and elders, please go to the front. On the stage, on, 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 on the stage. Go behind, Pastor Tuck. Go towards the blue line, please. Towards the blue line. If you're... Newly appointed, I need you on my right. 
already been serving for years on my left. Ministers and elders, if you are an elder, please move towards the front. If you are a minister, move towards the back. All right. Once I get these set, then we'll go ahead and set the rest. Pastor Scott, you. All right. Is everyone up there? Life. All right. Ministers and elders that are new on my right, if you're already ordained on my left. Elders in the front. Elders in the front. Elders in the front. All right. Go ahead, life. Huh? You can slide it back. You're fine. Slide that back. Slide the speaker back. All right, executive pastors, you can go ahead and go ahead. Didi, you're going to be right behind Pastor Tuck. Right, yep. Elise. Charisma. Yes, yes, sir. You're going to be on the, you might have to be down a step, Elder Furlow. Charisma, I want you on this side of Pastor Tuck. Right in front of, uh-huh. Elder Furlow hit that step. Pastor um, Scott going to sit the next step. Stay where you are, Mark. Uh-huh. But you're going to go back. Uh-uh. Go, go back just a little bit. She's so short. Uh, Elise, come forward. Pastor Scott, go. I don't know if that's going to work. Charisma, drop down one for me. Yeah, it's going to be from up there. Black. Bates, are you in the are you in the balcony? If not, go to the balcony. Bates, he's going to the balcony. All right, all right. How how do we look? Hold on one second. I got you. Bates, are we good? You're not gonna be able to see with these people unless they sit. Unless All right. So, so can I get everyone that's taking pictures to sit. to sit just for one second? Let us get this picture, and then once we get it done, then you will, we'll let them stand there for five more minutes to get everybody's pictures. Okay? So, if you're standing in the front, please sit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bates, All right. Wait, hold on one second, Elder Furlow. You're going to look up, up to the balcony. Look towards the light. Can you see Blake? Slide over. Move that speaker slide over. Don't get in front, too far in front of Naomi, though. Come down. You can. Okay, cool. Pick a leg.
Hold one second. Stay where you are. Family, please take your pictures quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. All right, pictures will be ending in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Keep looking up. Keep looking up, Josh. 4, 3, 2, one, that's the last picture. All right, we bless the Lord. Thank you so much. Please see John for your minister's, minister's license on your way out. Please see John and myself for your license. If you are ordained or have been ordained already, everyone gets a license today.
Good afternoon, Living Faith Tabernacle. I understand that everyone's trying to do pictures and whatnot, but we have a Spanish service that's coming in. So if I could get everyone to make your way to the foyer to finish your conversations as well as your pictures. Okay? Living Faith Tabernacle, we appreciate you attending today's service. However, we need you to exit towards the foyer so that the Spanish can begin to set up for their service. Thank you so much. Again, attention, Living Faith Tabernacle and guests, please make your way to the foyer. Please make your way to the foyer. Please finish your conversations and pictures in the foyer. Thank you so much. Attention, attention, Living Faith Tabernacle guests as well as members. Please make your way to the exit door, the main foyer, as our Spanish ministry meeting prepares to begin their service. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, Living Faith Tabernacle, as well as your guest. Please exit the sanctuary.